In the previous lecture, we were able to show that the electric field depends on the voltage difference. In other words, if we know what the voltage difference is in a certain region of space, we can calculate what the electric field is. So we're going to apply that result in this example. A certain region of three-dimensional space contains an electric potential, a voltage, that is given by the following equation. So the voltage, which depends on the x, y, and z coordinate, is equal to y cubed plus 3 times x times z plus 9 times x squared times y times z squared. So using this equation and the result that we obtained in the previous lecture, we we want to determine what the electric field vector equation is in this particular region of three-dimensional space. So we essentially want to apply the following equation that we were able to derive in the previous lecture. So previously we showed that because the voltage difference, the electric potential difference is equal to the negative of the integral of the dot product of the electric field and our infinitely small displacement given by dl. Because we have this equation, we can use it to solve for our electric field and we see that the electric field is equal to the negative of the partial derivative of our voltage which depends on x, y, and z with respect to x, y, and z. So basically, this is equal to the following notation. So the electric field is equal to the negative of the partial derivative of the voltage with respect to x multiplied by i hat minus the partial derivative of the voltage with respect to y multiplied by j hat minus the partial derivative of the voltage uh, with respect to our z multiplied by k hat. So we want to express the electric electric field vector equation in the following notation. So let's begin by calculating what the partial derivative of the voltage with respect to x is. So in this step we essentially want to treat y and z as if they were constants and take the derivative with respect to x alone. So this is equal to the negative of the partial derivative of this equation with respect to x and that is equal to, well the negative sign remains outside, this does not have an x so it becomes 0, this does have an x so it becomes 3z, and this also has an x so it becomes 18xyz squared, as seen in the following step. Now, in the second step, we essentially want to calculate the partial derivative of the voltage with respect to y. So we're holding our x and z as if they were constants. So this once again has a y, so that means this becomes 3 times y squared. This does not have a y, so it becomes 0. And this has a y, so it becomes 9x squared multiplied by z squared. And finally, we follow the same exact step and we calculate calculate our partial derivative of the voltage equation with respect to z, so we hold x and y as if they were constants. So this does not have a z, this becomes 0, this does have a z, it becomes 3x, this also has a z and it becomes 18x squared times y times z. So now we can combine these three results. We basically take this and plug it in here, we take this and plug it in here, and we take this and we plug that in here. And we get the following result. So the electric field uh, vector equation with respect to x, y, and z is equal to the following. So notice, if we know what the x, y, and z coordinate is in this particular region of space, we can simply calculate the voltage by plugging that into our equation, and we can calculate our electric field by plugging that into our equation, solving it, and calculating what the electric field vector is at that particular point in space.